It's been a long time coming, but the user section of Umbraco has finally gotten an update. Uh, what you can see here on the user section is uh, less than what you're probably used to. So we used to have three uh, menu items or tree items here. Now we just have the one. Never mind form security that's actually attached to the forms package here. So that's not related to this update. One cool feature right out of the box is the invite user. So now uh, it's no longer kind of weird on how they get their first password and things like that. So you just fill out a bunch of stuff for them. One thing you'll notice here is the user group. The user group is a, is a feature that me personally, I've been waiting for forever and ever and ever. Finally, we have user groups. So let's, let's now go investigate those a little bit. So if we click on groups over here, you now have administrators, editors, um, not sure what this is here, but we'll take it. Translators and writers. Uh, we now have the ability to create our own group. So let's say we have whatever group we have there. We can put that there. We can uh, place users into this here and uh, set uh, based on group, their sections, their content start node, media start node, etc. cetera. Um, we also have things like these default permissions that we can change here, public access, lots of stuff to change. Now, if we go back uh, to the list here, we can modify uh, what the existing groups do. We can do granular permissions as well here at the bottom. We can say for this page, um, here's all the cool things we can do. And there's uh, one other uh, aspect of this that we should look at. If we right click on a node and go to the permissions, uh, we have the set permissions for administrators, editors, and whatnot. So if I click on administrators, we get uh, a similar sort of dialogue here. And uh, it looks really cool. I'm excited to start using it. And this is available in Umbraco 7.7. .7.